Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Sidekick 365 XRM. This is an app we've developed to help you manage your sales pipeline, and it runs in Office 365 or on SharePoint 2013 on-premise. It installs as an app, and we have a separate video that shows you how you can install this app into your environment, whether that's in the cloud or on-premise. So let's take a quick overview of the home page here and take a look at what's here. We've got active tasks that are assigned to you and active opportunities that you're currently working on. On the left side, you've got the main modules of the system, accounts and contacts, etc. And then in the top, you've got the ability to search throughout the whole site to see if you want to find information related to a particular word or topic, etc. Let's dive into a list of accounts and take a look at that right now. When I come in, I'm going to see a list of accounts that I have access to, and I'm going to look at Sam's Burgers. So I just click into that and what I'll see is an overview of Sam's Burgers and all the information related to it. I can also see the main contact here and just clicking on the plus sign will show me more information about that contact. So pretty handy, pretty easy to work on. And I can see I've got one opportunity, a task, a couple of notes and some documents. So let's take a look at the documents. This is pretty interesting because we're using SharePoint and what you'll see is that I have different types of documents in a list and if I wanted to see for example this Word document when I click on it I'm up in Office 365 it launches the Word web app viewer and I can now work on this share it with other people etc so you're starting to see the power of the SharePoint platform and how you can leverage that for building really powerful apps right because what I can do is I can leverage all the capabilities that SharePoint brings and then wrap that into a very powerful business solution in this case for managing your CRM and your pipeline I can also look at my notes and we'll take a quick look at that and what we'll see is we have a couple notes associated with this particular account and Sergio is getting married uh, make sure to stress it has uh, milkshake makes three flavors so the idea here is I'm a salesperson working on selling milkshake machines to um, Sergio at Sam's Burgers and you'll see here this note is not associated with any particular opportunity just that account okay let's go back to the home page and we'll take another look at some things on the home page here here's a particular opportunity that's part of Sam's Burgers if I want to see information on Sam's I can just click right here and here's information will come up in just a second about Sam's and I can see the opportunity I can see tasks etc this way or I can go right into the opportunity by clicking on it and I'll see that this has just one note and a couple of documents and no tasks associated with it and I, I can see it's for twenty four hundred dollars and it's um you know he's making milkshakes by hand and if I wanted to edit this I just hit the edit tab and now I can go in and say let's make this sale happen so it's just that simple and I hit my save button and now I have it saved up in the cloud I'm running an office 365 now so you can see it's very simple it's just uh, doing a quick save here to edit these things update them and now everyone that can access this can see my notes etc right now let's take a look also when I come in here at um, how do I add an account how do I add an opportunity in this system that's also very simple what you're gonna see is on the left hand side I've got a drop down and the drop down says create new so if I just say create a new let's say a new account so what I'll get is a screen that'll let me enter all my information into it and the required fields will have a little red star next to the title of the field so it's just gonna fire up the entry screen that I need for making an account here and I have drop downs as you'd expect I have um, the ability to look up different people in the system so here I've got the admin and then I can do a lot of nice things like if I have the address being a one two three penny lane whatever and if I hit the same as physical it'll copy all that information right in here and I can also pick a contact that exists right now or I can add a contact just by hitting the plus sign here and I can take this information out and put in my own information and it'll automatically create a contact for me so we've done a lot of thinking about how to make it easy to use the system we didn't try and make it too restrictive but we also tried to make it as easy as it could be to add in data and start managing you know a lot of information about these different opportunities that you're tracking okay the last thing I want to take a look at is if I'm looking at an opportunity let's take a look at how you do that so now I have a new opportunity 
right? And I can associate that with an account. I just do uh, SIDS Grill. And there's my probability of closing. Um, the admin is the owner. Um, right now, I've got a needs analysis. This is all. You can change all this. The amount's uh, $50, let's just say. That's fine for me now. And the main contact in this case is going to be, um, I guess we'll go with Sergio because it's over at SIDS. Oh, we'll go with SID Carol, actually. That's the main contact over there. And my close date, I expect this thing to close sometime around the 19th. And um, any comments I have is, um, let's close this deal. So that's it. It's very simple. I'm going to save it. And now the opportunity has been set up. And I can now start to um, associate different things with it. So let's go in and do that. So there's my opportunity. And if I wanted to add some documents, I can just come to my tab here and say new item. And as you'd expect, I can browse and, and do all the things I'd like to do to add in documents, etc., to this thing. Right? So um, very straightforward. It's sort of acting as you would expect it to act. And that's the way you can go into different lists and add things in. I can go to tasks. I can say new item, etc. when I get into tasks. And I can add tasks that I then roll up onto my home page so that I can see them here. Now the last thing I want to show you is very interesting. And it's really going to highlight why we picked SharePoint and what some of the capabilities are that come out of the box. Let's say, for example, I want to find an opportunity with the word milkshake in it. So I just type in here, and I'm leveraging all the capabilities of SharePoint here with some of the search. And you'll see my opportunities list will filter to just those two. right? I didn't have it in the other one I just made. And I can just um, continue to do different searches, etc. The other thing that's interesting is I can do things like sort. right? If I do this, I can sort in descending order, or I can do ascending order. I can build filters to say, show me the ones that close on 719. OK, so in this case, it's still got the milkshake on, so I didn't see anything. But there's the one on 719 when I clear that out. I can clear out my filter, right? Just clear it. And I have a lot of nice capabilities to see information very quickly in the system. I can see information about SID. If I want to edit it, I can edit it here, etc. Right, so I have lots of very powerful capabilities to move quickly around the system, right? So uh, just a real quick demo here showing you different things you can do in Sidekick 365 XRM. I've got other videos that go into more details, but if you want to know more, just look up Sidekick 365 XRM in the App Store up in the new Office Marketplace, or email us at info at skylightsystems.com and that's S-K-Y-L-I-T-E-S-Y-S-T-E-M-S.com and we'll get right back to you with any questions you might have or a quotation. Again, this is Dave Chenault. Thanks for your time.